Hello, and welcome to this overview of how to conduct a literature review. Particular emphasis is given to formulating an effective search strategy. This tutorial has been compiled by Health Service Executive Clinical Librarians. A literature review is a well thought out and organized search of all the relevant literature. There are a number of definitions of literature reviews. This one is by Rowley and Flack. A literature review is a description of the literature relevant to a particular field or topic. It gives an overview of what has been said, who the key writers are, what are the prevailing theories and hypotheses, what questions are being asked, and what methods and methodologies are appropriate and useful. As such, it is not in itself primary research, but rather it reports on other findings. This tutorial will cover the following components of carrying out a literature review, including the process and methods of a literature review, practical examples of how to successfully complete a literature review, how to devise a successful search strategy, appraise the information gathered, apply results to your research question, and assess and synthesize results. There are typically five steps that form part of the literature review process. Step one is to ask a focused question. Devising a well-focused question is the first step in a literature search and will keep you on track with your search. Step two is to locate the evidence. It is important to know what resources are available and their content, scope, and quality. The third step is to appraise the evidence. This tutorial does not focus on appraisal, however. A list of useful resources are referenced at the end of the tutorial. By following this process, you will be in a position to complete the final stages, which are to draw up conclusions and finally write the review. Step one is asking a focused question. And one method of doing this is by using a technique called PICO. The PICO format is the method used to assist with formulating a focused question. P stands for patient or population or problem. I stands for intervention. C stands for a comparison if relevant. And O stands for the outcome. So we will now look at an example of using the PICO method. In this first example, the patient or population is obese patients. The intervention being examined is fat blazer or using its clinical name, Kytosan. In this case, there is no direct comparable intervention, so placebo is used. Indeed, in many formulated PICOs, there will not be a direct comparison. The outcome is whether this intervention led to decreased weight. Having a focused question, the second step is to locate the evidence. Relevant materials for your literature review can be potentially drawn from a variety of media, as detailed on this slide. Evidence-based information can vary in quality. This pyramid of evidence, produced by Jan Glover of Yale University, attempts to highlight the varying levels of information. This is a useful guide for someone conducting a literature review. The highest level of evidence can be found at the top of the pyramid. For example, systematic reviews, whilst the unevaluated information can be found at the lower end of the pyramid, for example, case reports. This is only a guide and individual resources must be assessed in their own right and on their ability to answer the focused question. In devising the focused question, 
Boolean operators can be useful. The basic principles of searching are based on the concept of Boolean searching. There are three Boolean operators, AND, OR, and NOT. Boolean logic refers to the logical relationship among search terms. Most databases, including Google and PubMed, make use of Boolean logic. If you combine terms using AND, your results will be specific and focused. Use of the OR operator will return more results, although some of them may be less focused or specific than using AND. NOT should be used sparingly, as it will exclude the retrieval of a term from a search result. To demonstrate some sample searches, we are using the OneSearch platform available from www.hselibrary.ie forward slash east. OneSearch enables you to search across a number of different databases simultaneously. Having framed your research question, the next step is to list the keywords. So, looking at this question, for example, effective methods of screening patients for alcohol abuse in an emergency room. We can begin to list our keywords screening, patients, alcohol abuse, and emergency room and consider other related terms. Can you think of any other terms for the keywords listed? Here are the results found by combining these keywords using the AND operator. To gain a more comprehensive result, you may wish to consider including synonyms and alternative words. Patients are a clearly defined category, so there is no need to break this term down further. However, the term screening can also be described as assessment or evaluation. Similarly, alcohol abuse could also be referred to as alcoholism or alcohol-related disorders. Finally, emergency room may be described as trauma centers or A&E depending on the country. The search string combining these keywords appears in the red box as shown. Another key resource to search is PubMed. This may be accessed from www.hselibrary.ie forward slash east by clicking on the PubMed link. This screen shows results of the same search in PubMed. Do not be alarmed by the volume of results retrieved as the search can be improved by considering the filters or limits such as date range, article type, language, etc. Other limiters and ways to refine your results include check your keywords and spelling, for example, organization. Check the scope of the database you are searching, for example, Will PubMed yield results on management or policy research? Use limiters such as language, publication type, for example, systematic review, age, human population, and topic. Now let's look at another example. This question is looking at the use of physical restraint by nurses caring for older people. The keywords are restraint, nurse, older people, or elderly or aged. The search string is in the red box. Let's try this search in OneSearch. On the OneSearch results page, 161 records are retrieved. The first result is from Google Scholar, the second is an article from PubMed, and the third is a literature review from CINAHL.
This question is looking at the use of patient pathways for the management of acute severe asthma. The keywords are care pathway and acute asthma. If you have a very specific search, you may only need to use a couple of terms. The search string appears in the red box. Let's try this search in OneSearch. In this example, a topic breakdown on the left-hand side of the screen, which includes the term integrated care pathway, can be viewed. This example is looking at the value of clinical audit. The keywords are clinical audit and value. It can be very difficult to capture non-clinical terms such as value. These terms are not indexed in the same way as clinical terms are in most databases. The use of a number of different synonyms as shown in this example will ensure relevant literature is not missed. OneSearch offers a ranking of search results by relevancy. However, you can amend this to date, author, or title. OneSearch is a federated search engine covering all our databases. However, if you wish to However, if you wish to conduct a search on the internet, you may want to consider the following points. Consider using Google Scholar, which includes scientific publications. Use advanced search and setup preferences, for example, export to EndNote. And always check provenance, quality, and accuracy of search results. One of the clinical librarians has done a presentation on Google and a link is available on this slide. Having completed the first two steps of conducting a literature review, asking a focus question and locating the evidence, the third step is appraising the evidence. There are many points to consider when appraising resources, such as bias, quality of material, peer review, expertise of the author, design methods, etc. Further information can be found via some of the sources noted on this slide. Once the critical appraisal has been completed, you're in a position to draw up conclusions based on your findings. Some of the questions raised on this slide may assist you with this process. This is an example of a method of organizing a literature review. Introduction. Body. And conclusion. Part of step five is referencing the information. This slide provides some links to some specialist resources. HSC clinical librarians can assist you in conducting a literature review. Thank you for taking time to do this tutorial.